Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Gold Silver Report for the Monday, the 28th of June. And look, we've had a big fall here and we're trying to catch dropping knives, sharp knives. So that's always dangerous. All I can say at this point, as, as I mentioned last time we spoke, is that if we get a tested support on the 1800, we can go long. But otherwise, we need to expect the market to um, drop lower. So we need that first high above the level. We need that sort of classic trading levels pattern that we're always talking about. We need that We need that support on the 1800 here. We need the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. Uh, we need the ABC. We need, we need that tested support on the 1800. If we get that, then we can go long, but otherwise we can't. Um, we could also make this a bit more complicated here. We could bring the wave four over to this point here as well. There may even be another little test to the upside. Um, but until that, uh, until that, until that, um, 1800 in this area becomes the support, we cannot go long because we're subject to too much, uh, pressure to the downside here. This move through here is starting to peer, you know, sideways and complicated with all of this. So we just really need to be, uh, you know, careful about this here. I mean, that's really the bottom line with all of this. There are um, other counts that we've looked at um, on the daily chart here, for example. There's this situation where we can have an A, B, C, D, E here for this for wave four. Um, this can drop down further from here. <clears throat> this move down from the top here, you know, we've got it so far as an as an ABC pattern from this wave one here and wave two here. So we could also just, <coughs> there's possibility we can just move straight up from that point. But like I said, we need to be on the 1800. If this drops down here, that's still part of wave C of two. And we'd still need to get back up here from this. But we could also come down here, go back up here and come down again because we could look at this as wave one here. I'm just saying that it's possible. You know, we don't, nobody knows yet what this, you know, what, what this can be. There's too many, there's too many options here. So that's the truth of the matter. <clears throat> so in very simple terms, we really need that 1800 before we can go long in gold and also gold stocks as well. You, I'm already long in gold stocks, but um, yeah, I still need, um, I'm okay to play the longer game in that. It's only a small amount. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> um, we just got to see how we go here. We knew that we're going to get some sort of support in the 50, you know, in the 60, 50, 60% range here. And we're, and we're getting that. And it is possible to count that up as an impulsive wave, but it still could just be wave A with a wave B and a wave C even to come here further because wave fours get really complicated. It's only when we get that support on top of the 1800 there with a nice classic trading levels pattern, we get that first high above the level uh, and maybe a second high if we're lucky enough. Um, and and so on and then we can go long at that point but until we got that <clears throat> we're at risk so you know catching these knives might you know is always dangerous so um yeah so this can easily drop further and further down than we think as well and because this was never really resolved here i know different people are quite confident in the way that they've counted it but we can see that, you know, it could be an A and a B and a C wave up here for the, you know, larger B wave. So there's different ways to count this. If you include that, you know, it will become hindsight. If this, if this drop down through here, for instance, <clears throat> well, then everybody would change their labeling to an A and a B and a C wave up here. Do you know what I mean? So, and that was the low there. <clears throat> so there's different ways to look at all this. And I know that you're not going to be happy with this video. Um, but you know, my job is to keep you safe and get you in on the trend. And, and I'm saying, well, it's just not possible. The first, the first, you know, bus stop that we can get on the bus at is, is at the, uh, at the, at the 1800 here. And we need that as support. And we just don't have that. And this is the same with silver as well. Let's just find silver you know, with its low down here as well. Now, there's a good case that, um, you know, we could even just have another little low down here, but until we get on that 2650, <clears throat> we can't go long, you know, because this, you know, um, you know, maybe the B wave, maybe this, 
I mean, I've got it as an A wave. I've got it as an A wave uh, here and then an A and a B and a C wave here. It's quite fitting because we've got that three wave move there. But what about if that was actually, you know, supposed to be five waves here in some way or another? So that's one and two here and three here and four here and down for five here. It's not like this is, you know, this is not this move that we've got here is not sitting very nicely, really, as, a, as an impulse wave. At this point, this can easily just drop from here, from, you know, from this area up here and drop down to the next level before bouncing. It's where we'd have to pick it up at that point as well. So for this to be a one and two here, it's a little bit sort of drawn out, a bit long and a bit big. It's okay. Um, but I'm just saying, uh, I mean, the other count that we had back here somewhere, I don't know where that is now, let's just go back and have a look. Yeah, this one here, um, you know, I've always liked this one here being the A wave here, forgetting about this top here, because I think that's all in the same channel here. So an A and a B and a C for the A wave, a B wave and a C wave for the B wave, and then down here for wave four. Why isn't that moving? Yep, down here for this. So I think that's more the, the reality than this one and two up here. This is what I, you know, it's, it's more like this, I think. But we'll give it a chance, you know, for this to be true, it would need to have this, um, it would need to have the, $25 mark here as as the resistance so we're going to that will take a while as well so there'll be a bounce off that and then it would come through and then it may even do a couple of little ziggy zags here before breaking you know breaking the low and coming down uh into, into this low not that it's, it doesn't have to come way down here for this because the b wave worked so high here towards these old highs here that means that when it comes down here it's going to be very close to these wave a's here so it's not going to be it's not going to be a deep, a deep correction. It just means that, um, it just means that it drops here and then we pick it up from here and we need to move on from that point. That's all. But this, this here is a better fit for me. And, you know, this would leave gold in the same boat as well, having, um, you know, I mean, where was on the two days here? <clears throat> You know, I tried to be kind in having this triangle pattern here because I know folks would like that rather than having this wave C down. Why aren't these moving very well? Copy it. Having wave C down here. Having wave C down here. Copy this and bringing wave four. You know, it would be really just typical of this market to take out the lows here, to take out all the long positions and then, then move back up at that point, you know. So, um, yeah, look, it's not a very flash video today, but I just wanted to point out that unless we get that 1800 as a nice solid support, then we're going down. You know, which way will we go down is, is one of the questions. So will we work in this triangle pattern or will we work into simple ABC pattern here? Um, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but, uh, yeah. Alrighty, um, we'll, we'll, we're, we're just looking at two things here. Um, one is support on the 1800, that will give us wave two, um, but that can also, as I mentioned, just have another, <clears throat> another drop before this, I've had it like this here, but the other problem with this too, this move up, this wave B could quite easily go to here as well, and this becomes wave one and two here. And then all this becomes the third wave. And that's why I've got also got this with the fourth wave over here in an odd way. I've done it that you wouldn't make too much difference about it all. But, you know, the, this is all possible here for this. I know that some folks have got, you know, a, a countdown here that, that they're confident in and, and, you know, they're saying, well, that's it, Pete. And, you know, there's nothing really more to say about it. But, um, I, I think we just, <laughs> it's all about the trade setup, really. And so um, we just need to wait for that. So I'll leave it at that. So just to recap, we need that 1800 here as the support to have long trades. 
and it will be something like this and that will be our setup for this it's simple as that if we don't get that then we're going down to the next level here so the 1730 would be somewhere close to what we'd be looking at at this point all right i'll leave it at that cheers